this is lecture number seven on matrices, and it's on the matrix inverse. All right, first up a definition. A matrix inverse, in order to a matrix in order to have an inverse, must be a square. And what I've done here, R, which if you remember from the last lecture, I represented as the rank, which I've got now, has to equal the row and has to equal the column. So if there's a line of zeros underneath, then it doesn't have an inverse. All right. Now, what we have, we have xA, x in our case being the inverse, and a being our matrix, will equal the identity matrix. And this will be known as the left inverse. So if you have a matrix and you multiply it as in by another matrix x, in the form x a and it equals the identity matrix then x is the left inverse now over here we have similar we have ax equals the identity matrix and this is known as the right inverse and as you kind of should guess the x equals a to the minus one which from normal maths a to the minus one is the inverse right and there's a little bit of proof here that the left inverse equals the right inverse and it's actually unique as well so there'll only be one answer for the inverse of each matrix as long as it's a square remember. So we have left inverse times A times the right inverse. Now we can rearrange this to get LA which times by R and LA which is kind of like this one uh, no kind of like this one sorry because X is adding our case as the left uh, is the identity. So we have IR and any identity matrix times anything is the matrix, so we have R. Now I can do similar the other way. Uh, the left, left inverse times A times the right inverse over here is I. LI equals L, so therefore R equals L. So we know that doesn't matter if you get the left or the right inverse, they're going to be the same. Right, now we've done a quick example. So we have 2468XYZW, and this is going to equal the identity matrix. So this is the inverse that we're trying to find here, and it's got to equal the identity matrix. Now we already know that the rank is 2, and it's a 2 by 2, so that's fine. Right, now first off, we want to multiply. Uh, we want to multiply this out. So if you remember from my last lecture when I did multiplication, uh, we do this times this, this times this, this times this, this times this. So that will give you 2x plus 4z here, and over here, we'll, uh, no, underneath we'll have 6x plus 8z underneath, and over here we'll have 2y plus 4w, and over here we'll have 6y plus 8w. Right. No. And this one's got to equal the, uh, the identity matrix as well. Now, depending if it's 2 by 2, then you have a 2 by 2. If it's a 3 by 3, then we have a, a 3 by 3 identity matrix. That's pretty clear, really. Um, so now we can equal the values. So we know that this equals 1, this equals 0, this equals 0, this equals 1. And if you look at that now, we have a set of simultaneous equations. Now, if you look at, because of the way it's done, it's pretty simple to solve. So we have, if we multiply this by 2, then we can subtract it from this, which gives us 2x equals minus 2, with the 2 over the x equals minus 1. x is minus 1, we have 2 times minus 1 is minus 2. Move that over there, we get 4z equals 3, z equals 3 over 4. Over here, we can do the same again. I times this by 2 and subtract it from this. So we have uh, 2y equals 1, y equals 1. My, what, y equals a half, sorry. Uh, if y is a half, we get 1 over here, minus 1 over here. Uh, 4y equals minus 1, move the 4 over, that's a, I mean, 4w equals minus 1, 
Move the 4 over W equals minus a quarter. And you'll get that. And if you did it the other way around, if you move this over here as the inverse, you would get the same answer as well. I check this on Maple as well. So. And one last slide. It's just a couple properties. So we have the inverse of A inverse is A. So it makes sense. You kind of, if you time something by something, and then you're kind of going backwards, so we get A. A times A inverse equals A inverse times A. Pretty clear, but we have to be careful because normally sometimes you have a AB does not equal BA. And I've made a change on one of the videos back because I've found this out now and it, the notes were a bit wrong. I think uh, on the transpose video I made a change on that. Uh, and this equals the inverse, which is fine. That's just from uh, the, the first slide. And transpose, if you remember this, this is kind of like when you turn it and reflect it. So we have A transpose inverse is equal to A inverse transpose. So they're, they're just the same, so it doesn't matter what order you do it in. And that's it, thank you.